Hey friends, this is Atif. Hope you're well and welcome to the new update on Pundi X Token. Uh, in my previous video that I shared two days ago, uh, we have seen that the price action was uh, forming a bullish cipher move. And during the video, the price action completed the bullish cipher and hit the sell zone. And this was the pattern that I also shared here at the uh, Patreon as well. And I'm also sharing a lot more other trading, the harmonic trading ideas here on the daily basis and if you would like to support me here then i've also shared the link in the video's description uh, you can find there now i'm just going to play this chart again to show you how the price action completed the bullish cipher first the price action uh, you can see it was moving above this buying zone and this is the link for the chart and uh, this was a very small time period a one hour chart because we don't have so many candlesticks on the daily or 12 hour uh, time frame or even on the four hour time frame chart especially at that time therefore uh, i was looking at the one hour chart uh, at the hourly chart now after playing this chart we can see that the price action as predicted as per the fibonacci sequence of the bullish cipher uh, completed this final leg of this bullish cipher here and entered in this buying zone and spiked up to this level almost at the end of the spying zone and moved up and hit the sell targets even uh, beyond the sell targets now uh, i would like to show you again on the hourly chart here we can see that uh, the price action if i place this uh, regression tool it will help us to find the channel uh, the price action has formed on the hourly chart and now we can see that the price action formed this down channel on this hourly chart and it was moving between this down channel very well and hitting the support and the resistance of this channel and finally this is the breakout point and you can see it here on these candlestick the price action has finally uh, broke out this resistance of the channel and here i've also placed the volume indicator as well we, here we can see that we had consistent and continuously uh this buying volume and if we take a look at this directional movement indicator that is in, uh, playing a very important role at this time on this hourly chart uh we can see previously we had this uh directional the negative directional index above this positive directional index that was the sell signal a strong sell signal because this uh, adx was also moving up with the value of uh, 29.62 that is a really very really powerful uh, volume uh, powerful value of adx and at that time the adx was showing the power of bears because we had this bearish line above this bullish line this blue line is bullish and this orange line is bearish and now we have finally received this uh, bull cross between this bearish line and the bullish line then the positive directional index has crossed up this negative directional index and now the adx is also moving down and here we can see that uh this uh, these candlesticks have also crossed up or bro uh, broke out this resistance of the channel as well and we can also see that this volume oscillator this is the volume oscillator showing the power of uh, uh buying volume or sell volume at this time we have the buying volume therefore it is showing the oscillation of buying volume and we can see that at this time the value is uh, 9.32 approximately 10 so this is a considered as a powerful buying or sell volume and we can expect that now this uh, trend can be continued yes we can have uh, some correction rally as well uh, but uh, like the volume oscillator has moved up and we have a breakout from this down channel and finally this directional index the positive directional index has crossed up this negative directional index uh, we can assume that now we have a confirmed breakout from this channel and we also have this retest of, as well after breaking out you can see that the previous resistance turned into support and the price action uh, indeed retested the previous resistance as a support and gave us the confirmation and now it is likely to move up this is the hourly chart because this is newly launched token and we don't have so many candlesticks on the on the 12 hour or on the four hour or on the, or on the daily or weekly or monthly chart therefore i am just looking at the hourly chart and because the time frame is very uh, very small therefore it is possible that the uh, the price action will not follow the analysis it can go against the analysis because on the small time period chart sometimes 
uh, you cannot have a firm analysis. But uh, at this time, we can use the small time uh, candlesticks, the small time period candlesticks, because we don't have so many uh, candlesticks available for the Pundi X. Yes, we can also watch the previous NPXS, old NPXS token that is not, not re removed so far. On 15th of April, it will be removed. So we can see the Bitrix uh, chart. And here we can see that on the daily time frame chart, we have a very good support of the 50 simple moving average. We had a very uh, nice retracement. Like if I place this uh, Fibonacci tool again, then uh, from here up to this level, uh, we have the retracement between point. Let me show you again. Uh, I'm just going to place this uh, Fibonacci tool from this low to this high. And then we can see that the price action has been retraced uh, between 0.50 to 0.618. This is the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level. Then after this rally, the price action again started the next rally that was a little bit smaller than the previous one. And this time the price action retraced uh, between 0.38 to the 0.50 Fibonacci retracement level. And now I'm just going to place from this low, from this low to this high. And here, uh, the price action has been retraced between 0.618 to 0.786 Fibonacci retracement level. That's not bad. And uh, we can expect that now the price action can use this 50 simple moving average support to move to the upside. However, we have uh, the resistance, this uh, point zero zero six dollar resistance then we have point zero zero eight dollar resistance then we have the final resistance at point zero zero nine dollars that is approximately one cent very close to one cent and now uh, you can see that uh, this is also very good support that is at point zero zero four five dollars and the price action is likely to have bounce from here Pre previously we had a very very good bounce from this support but moved down back and it will be a kind of double bottom if the price action will be start the next move to the upside. And in case of double bottom, you can have an idea that uh, after the double bottom, the price action can even uh, turn more bullish. And here we can also see that this support is uh, has been breaking as a resistance here. And now it is breaking as a good support. We also have the, uh, the additional support of 50 simple moving average as well. Therefore, the price action can even uh, at least uh, make another attempt to break out this point zero zero six dollars and in case of Pundi X that will be six dollars uh, you can see at this time it is moving at four point five three dollars and in NP excess it is moving at point zero zero four eight dollars quite similar price because here it is moving in cents and here it is moving in dollars so uh, at this time uh, we are having very good support of this point zero zero four five dollars, and if we uh, take a look at this NP uh, the Pundi X, then here we have uh, broken out this resistance of the channel, and if I place the volume profile on the complete price action of Pundi X, uh, uh, this is the volume profile. I'm just going to uh, place this volume profile on the complete price action that we have so far available and we can see we have from the downside we have the traders interest up to this level and to the upside we have the traders interest up to this level and the point of control of the volume profile is also moved up and you can see that here we have very weak interest of the tr uh, traders uh the the trust the interest of the traders were, was not developed in this area therefore we had only a spike up to this level and when the candlesticks were entered in this area very soon, they are now turning or moving to the upside. And at least they can move up to this level where we have this point of control of the volume profile because the point of control work as a, a center of gravity for the price action. Whenever the price action moves up, uh, moves up or moves down, it moves back towards this uh, point of control. And if I place the volume profile on the complete price action only on the candlesticks which are uh, moving uh, in this channel from here up to this 
turn candlestick up to here and we can see even in that situation we don't have the traders interest below than this level and we can see that we had only a spike in this level and the price action is moving up and it has also broken out this resistance of the channel as well so i will be looking for it now at the adx of this uh directional movement indicator and this uh, volume oscillator as well because here we can see that it has triggered with the power of 10 approximately if it will be moved up then we can have more powerful buying volume and we can have a, a nice rally of the price action as well and if this adx will be moved up from here at this time you can see it is moving down and we have a bull cross between the directional uh, movement index the positive directional movement index and the negative directional movement index and after this bull cross once we we have this uh, blue line above this orange line and this adx will be moved up again then this time it will be showing the powerful uh, power of bulls and then we can expect a nice rally to the upside so far we have a very good support of point zero zero four five dollars and the price action is top here and having a very good support of 50 simple moving average as well so this was the update so far i hope that you have liked the video then do hit the like and do subscribe to the channel as well and if you would like to support me at the patreon then i will also share the link in the video's description you can find there take care goodbye